Hello everyone, this is Rock Hard Gamer 45 and today we have something completely new and interesting. And this is that The Evil Within 2 now has first person mode, okay? Might seem a bit minor to some people, but first person games are my all time favourite style in games, so this is pretty big for me. Anyway, we're going to play some or all of chapter 14. Um, I wasn't going to do the start, but it said most of chapter 1 and I think some of 2. Is in third person because of all the cutscenes. So I thought it actually wouldn't be worth it. So I looked up in my load save files and I saw one for chapter 14. And we'll go from there. Oh, I have not played this game in a while. So, excuse me if I'm bad. Oh, this looks so cool like this already. We're not even anywhere yet. Oh, I'm so glad we're here. Changing outfits. Oh yeah, I've played the game and it lets you do stuff. It's kind of interesting. Oh, you got a lot of stuff for me, thanks. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna leave now, so we can actually see what the actual level looks like. It looks like we might have actually started. Okay, so you can't see a gun all the time, which is interesting. You have to hold it down. Fair enough. It looks so different like this. It looks like a brand new game. This is more or less at the start, so... Are you alive? Any of you going to come alive? I'm trying to remember how you do like the melee attack in this. Okay, that looks really weird. You can't even see your hands. Um, sniper. Okay, yeah, we have all our guns. There's actually anything I need to do in here. Okay, for first impressions, this is semi semi decent. So it. I kind of like the look of it in first person mode, but at the same time, the punching's are like, really weird. I can see my knife now. It's, it's something what I thought it'd be. I, I thought it'd be, it'd be better if you actually see a gun, so you walk around like this, but you have to hold the aim button. But apart from that, it's actually very interesting, so it's definitely worth playing on. I haven't decided if not if I'm going to do a full playthrough of this. Oh, we swapped. You never get here, just like the last time you wanted to save her. Anyway, if I do do it, I will not, not play on Rock Hard Gamer 45. I'll do it on my um, Rock Hard Plays channel because I've already done it on this channel once. And I've got so many other playthroughs on here, here just to get to packed in together and they probably would never come out. I've got to stop pressing that, that's not the running button. I'm so used to L1 being a running button. I just like the games I've been playing recently. There's some of these are 3D, I think this is because it's going to go into a cutscene, right? Oh, we have the fire guys, how great. I remember this bit. I remember this bit. It feels so good getting into the game because this was one of the favorite, my favorite games that I played last year. It looks so good. It plays. So oh, I've been spotted already. Oh, at this angle, <laughs> this looks better like this. I guess. Like I'm still just as good at aiming though. Oh no, I'm alerting other people. That's much more terrifying in this view. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't so good starting such a late level when I'm just getting back into the set. 
damn it. People everywhere. Okay, what weapons do I have? Do I have any grenades or anything? Oh, come at me. Come on then. Okay, let's look someone there. Whoa! There we go. Can't waste that arrow that much. No. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. That was close. How did I not hit you? That hit you. You're still alive? Damn it, you're still alive. Okay, I'm just wasting ammo like real bad here. Damn it, another. Oh, my playing skills are terrible today. There we go, now we're on. It feels really slow in this sort of playthrough as well, in this sort of um, first person mode. It feels like I turn slow, I can't move slow. Well, technically, this is a third person game. So, it will still play out like a third person style game. So, maybe it does feel a bit weird. Do I have any health on me? No, I don't. I need to remember how you start crafting in this game. Oh, that's that. Changing weapons. Is it in here? Here it is. Okay, I got it. I'll make one. Yes. <laughs> Who's... It feels different. I kind of like it. I mean, it makes the gameplay look much more scary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's, he's coming after me. Definitely need bottles. Oh, I can hear somebody else in here. Oh good, more health. All right, we're set up now, we're safe. Let's say investigate or take. Oh, here we go. And there's more of them. Let's hope my accuracy improves a little bit now. Try and lure them to the this. Hi guys, come over here, please. Well, have you not seen me yet? What's your problem? Oh yeah, that, that's good. I love that way that just sort of vanishes. Oh 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 god. Oh, that's sounding so scary when you can't see them, though. Oh, where's that? That sounds like it come right from behind. No, this is not the time. You dead? I have no idea what he's doing. He's really spazzing out. Oh my god. I just notice these things a bit more in first person, I think. Let me saw else alive. I thought I killed everyone. I don't know where he is. Unless the eyes glitched out. He might have been glitched out. I wasted all my ammo there. Can I make anything? Can you make ammo? Yeah, I thought you can.
Well, I can make a whole three buddies. Better than nothing, I guess. Give me the power of the core. Why does everyone want to control Union? It's not even real. Union is better than we have. Union is more. I remember how much I love this game. I thought Evil Within 2 was so underrated. No one really talked about it. No one ever mentioned it for the best game of the last year either. Honestly, it's easily one of my favourite games of the last year. Asshole like you take over assholes like them. You're even crazier than you look. Oh, I forgot about it. You can do this. <laughs> I don't look at a machine gun like that. I still, like, my only really complaint is that it's kind of slow. Because it still, like, plays out like a third person game. And I would really like to see the guns all the time instead of just being aiming. But, honestly, it's good. It's kind of what I expected, so that's something. See, it looks so much real. It looks a bit kind of like VR in a weird way. I mean, the quality doesn't look as good. I think, I think, at least thing. Oh, this is because I've been in it for quite a while. We've already gone all over the story once, so let's just focus on the first-person view. We could go back, but I'm not going. To. Oh, I'll go and get in on the action, to be honest. We worry about that in the full playthrough. Did I've really honestly just missed that. <laughs> I've got aim then, it must have been a cutscene. Ah, this is cool. Whoa, 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 where is he? Where are they? I can hear a normal guy in here as well. He wants to be the first try at my new weapon. In first person mode. You do? How's that? Here comes a more important guy. At least I stopped you from doing your annoying attack. Get off me! <laughs> I gotta get on credit. This guy looks really terrifying in um, first person. The ready just come charging at you like that. Do I need to hide again? Oh, over there. Okay, no, we don't need to hide again. I'm gonna save that. Oh, there's people over here. That was a warning shot. Oh, come on! Yeah, you guys are nowhere near as terrified as these guys. Guys, definitely don't want to fight one of you. Right. Oh, if I remember rightly, we don't actually have to here. Oh, cool. Alright, that's a way out. We do need to go in there, though, don't we? Who wants one of these? Did I get him? Oh, I got him, alright. I mean, he didn't seem to do that much. That made me, oh, as I said, that made me crouch. Because I obviously 
hit him. Alright, oh well. At least I killed him. So you can't even see yourself putting health in. They should have really sort of worked on this a bit better, maybe. Because all they've literally done is change the camera angle. Just wish they worked on it a bit more to try and make you feel more like a first person. Maybe took some influence from Resident Evil 7. So the gimmick's cool. The final execution is good. And that's about it. I won't go any more than that. That's good. Oh, I can make 10. That's cool. Can I just hit this? That saves up. No, I can't hit that. Oh, someone heard me shoot that. I'm not very happy with me. Actually, let's go back see what is in that room. Probably lead to the same place. As long as there's fire guys not around in here. Definitely don't go against him. See what happens to O'Neill. Okay, that just go back to where we were, right? Right, okay. That's the one thing I'll say about the Evil Within 2. Every time you thought let the game was going to end, it always opened up something new. There's always a, like a next part, next part. But it didn't feel like it was dragging on, which was the funny thing. I like the guide here, but it doesn't seem to be in here anymore. Unless it's just random glitching in. We've got a nice first person view of the fire here. So when you look at it like this, this is when it's at its best. Oh, I remember the guys in here. No, the gameplay's got to be slow, but he's going to want me to be really quick here, so this is going to be the hard bit. Okay. Is he dead? Right. Okay, I'm to the next corner. We're getting a good way. I might even be able to make a lot more crossbows now, think about it. I'm out for this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn it. This is exactly what I thought this bit would be like in first person. These guys not dying one bullet? Oh, okay, maybe they do. On one um, bolt. You're alive, aren't you? So no, they don't. But they almost do. Yep, die with your brother. Okay, we handled that quite well. Well, sort of. In the end. <laughs> Oh, there is something. Shop. Can we go upstairs now? We can. Is it going to do the stair thing again? Yep. Yep. I thought so. <laughs> um, what happens if you actually go back? Does he start? I'm not making any deals with you, friend. Why did he do that? Is it because I went backwards? It's annoyed with me. I hope not. 
I really just want to see what it was about. I want to see if you can actually change the game ending, like, if you went backwards, maybe, or it ends wrong. Unfortunately, Simon gets there before you. I'll keep coming back until one of us is dead. Come to me then. Let the courage begin. Oh, it's bad in them doing. Here's where all the action happens. We've been here before. I feel you, how you doing? Alright, we're gonna skip this because I wanna see what it feels like fighting like a safe head and the chainsaw guy. I probably won't fight that woman because it's gonna be too fast paced and I'm gonna do it anymore. We can give it another. Oh no, we actually are doing this in first person. <laughs> I mean, I'm tempted to look. Oh no, I'm not. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is much scarier. This is Enough of this shit. I don't worry, we didn't get a chance over here. Could you do this first person change or kill him? You think this will stop me? Oh, no, I'm fine. Oh, so cool to be in first person. Oh, well. He tries to fight back. <laughs> he doesn't have no chance. Let's do the double safe head fight. This is the bit I've been looking forward to in fighting in full uh, first person, hopefully. Oh god. Oh god, it's isn't scary than I ever imagined. No oh, cower, get up. This is his weakness gun. He doesn't like this gun. Oh god, he sounds quick. Oh, this is much more terrifying than I can ever imagine. How do you like that? Where's your brother? I know you, you know there's another guy that comes around somewhere. Oh no! We've got the level keeps changing, doesn't it? It keeps changing here, I think. Is that him? Yeah, he's dead. Come some more. Oh, they're terrifying when they run at you. <laughs> I don't like this angle, he's gonna come up right there, isn't he? Oh god! Ow! Oh, damn it! <laughs> Not terrifying at all. This is definitely the first person mode done at his best. Bell before me, safe head. Alright, we're gonna have a quick go at doing this other bit, but one or two goes, if not, I think we know what's gonna happen. 
accent, you've got to be quick at this bit. And I don't think I can do that in first person mode. It's just a terrifying boss. <laughs> Oh god, that sounds really terrifying. See, the thing is, I can't. You can normally see where she is, but I have nothing nice. So I look. Come on. I'm trying to think. At least we know where she is. Oh god, she's right behind me. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Oh, oh god, she's walked straight past me. <laughs> oh, that sound. Oh damn, I missed. But so did she. Hello, please. This is what I'm worried about. I can barely even see where she is. Found her. Oh, that's it. I've got to give them credit. This is what this game is supposed to be like. Now this is terrifying. Got Whoa! Don't do that! Ah, that's so cheating. Oh, it doesn't help me put him in there. I need to burn you. Come on! Oh, I've already done that bit. <laughs> oh, you cheat. You're absolute cheat. I hate it when you do that. <laughs> Don't mind me whilst I just inject myself with this whole medicine. I'm just gonna turn that on, is that good with you? Right. Right, now we can do it, right? Let go, let go! I hope doing this bit. But you're behind me, aren't you? I shouldn't really do that because it doesn't help me like at all. <laughs> Shot. Good idea. Yeah, it doesn't help because now I've got to run away over here. You never know, she might be standing there. Oh, no, she's coming. <laughs> oh god, please don't kill me. Grab, grab. Come on. Come on, put some effort into it, man. Oh, really? That's not even the one I've got to do. Is it? Do I have to do it again? What have I done wrong? Fire on that, isn't it? Okay. Is that you right below me? Bro? Okay, 
I need you to somehow come in the middle here. Can you do that for me? That'd be extremely great. Did you go in? Oh yes, thank you. You just decided to teleport in it. We actually did it. We didn't even die. First person was nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be there. What are you? <laughs> what else have you got? He's got that. He's had that coming to him for quite a while. How are you doing? Myra. Well, anyway, we've seen this bit, so what I'm going to do now is probably give my impressions. So, okay, this is pretty much what I thought it would be. This is obviously just like a random sort of extra feature where you can just go against the whole game in first person. Just like a nice sort of little excuse to play through the whole game again. Let's get this. It, it's good. I think I should put a bit more effort into it sometimes. I think like the gun bit is a bit. I'd like to see my guns all the time, sort of like a first person action like you could in Resident Evil 7. I think they've done a lot better if I took a bit more inspiration from that game. But it is good. When it does the horror part, like them fire enemies or all three of the bossy sticks, especially safe head enemy or that last enemy fought against her, that boss woman, then that is really good. It was really intense and really scary when they're charging at you. It's done perfectly. But other times it just feels like a bit slow and out of place. I like to see what my, I see what kind of um, my gun all the time. I see my gun I'm using. Some of the cutscenes were a bit weird. Like you couldn't see yourself using a knife like most of the time, so it was literally didn't make sense. So obviously, it's just a little feature added to the game. I don't know if I will play the full game like this. It's really good. Like I say when it when it does its moments, it's perfect. But this is other moments where it feels a bit too sort of slow and out of place, I guess you can say. That I don't know if I would go the full way of playing through it. But still, it's definitely worth checking out, especially the part I just played. Or maybe another bit would be good when you go through the mirror and you see that um, that woman who insta-kills you as well, kind of like her. I can't remember what she was called, and when it always speaks to you. That would be really scary in that moment. So... But apart from that, the normal gameplay, especially when you're going against like them sort of fast enemies, like the dog kind of type of enemies, it just feels so hard to keep up with it because you seem to move so slow in first person. So, the horror, scary boss fights, yes. The other parts of the gameplay, not quite. But still, if you think this interests you, I definitely think it's worth a try. I don't think you'll get all the way through the game playing in this mode, but it's definitely worth a look. So anyway, this has been Rock Hard Gamer 45, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.